uh, definitely having an expansive vocabulary helps in building fluency, right? Hmm. Um, secondly, the ideation has to be a little um, quick. So whenever a question is thrown at you, you should be able to uh, think as well as speak. So there are ways to tackle this situation that how to think spontaneously whilst you are in the middle of speaking. Okay, I'll discuss those ways. And the last yes. part about... Um... Hello, good morning. Hello, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Yes, ma'am. I have been doing well. Thank you for asking. Okay. So, ma'am, we are meeting for the very first time. I would like to know a little bit about you. Okay, my name is Ritika Dogra. Very warm welcome to your first session with me. I've been teaching for more than two years now. Um, I would like to know a little about yourself, please. Uh, sure, why not? So, as you know, my name is Shuman Das. I live in West Bengal, Kulani. If I talked about my education qualification, I have completed my graduation from Kulani University, apart from done diploma in multimedia animation, Jadavpur University. I am an okay. IT professional. I have overall five years of experience in IT company. Okay. And I am a boy who has a wanderlust. Wanderlust, okay. Simultaneously, I run a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel name is English with Suman. So this is okay. my little bit short introduction. So what is this YouTube channel about? Uh, these days I am uploading dual conversation video on my YouTube channel. So I have uploaded more than 100 videos on my okay, YouTube that's, channel. That's great to know. It takes some commitment to run a YouTube channel and also to create content. Okay. Yes. Yes. So um, I would like to begin this class with a quote. So the quote is that asking questions is the first way to begin change, okay. right? How far do you agree with this statement? Yes, ma'am. If I asked more and more question to anyone, so I can build my confidence. I can uh, get knowledge from others. So we have to ask more question and question in front of anyone. Yes. Okay. Right. So why is it so important to ask questions, as you said that to anyone? So if I do not ask you anything, so how to get information from you? So okay. that's why we have to ask more and more question to others. Then we will get information and we will get to know from others what is going on in our society and what is going on in their mind. So each and everything we can understand by asking a question. If I do not ask to you, so how to know uh, what do you want to say after yeah. some time? So I have to ask you more questions. Then I can easily get to know from you. Okay. And how do you relate this with the idea of change? Like when I say change, so it's about, you know, it can be a big change, it can be a small change, but how do you relate asking questions with the idea of change? If I have lots of knowledge, so I can share with others if they ask me any question. If I don't have any knowledge, so how can I share my knowledge with others? So we have to uh, build our confidence and we have to uh, read books and we have to uh, get more information from outside so yeah. after that whenever anyone asks me any question so i can easily reply to them and they can easily understand what right. he's trying to say right and just to address this question you at the end you would be saying that connecting this extra knowledge or this extra information actually develops the idea of change right like yes. changing the society changing the community changing the world in that sense Yes, right. Yes. Okay. So let's say that you, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you a list of people wh for whom I would be wanting you to create questions. Like if you could ask one question for the following people, so what would that question be? And the person can be dead or alive. It does not matter. Like when we talk about our principles, so he may or he may not be alive right now. Right. So think about what question you would propose to the following people. So the first person uh, is your parents. So what question would you ask your parents that you have never asked? Okay, so sure, definitely. Right now I'm doing job in an IT company. 
so i don't want to do this work so if i get opportunities in future i aim to become soft skill trainer so definitely i will train them i don't want to do this job so can i change my profession okay so this is a question that you would want to ask okay any of your grandparents if you were to ask any question to your grandparents what would that be so definitely i will ask to my grandparents um, i want to open my own business if you have 1 crore rupees or 2 crore rupees <laughs> please give me uh, five years later i'll uh, return you and i'll also uh, give you extra uh, gift okay because if you give me 2 crore rupees so i can open my own business that way i can open good platform and after that i can hire so many people who can do work for me and after that they can uh, fulfill their dream by my work so i can open a uh, platform big platform so this way so many people get more opportunities so definitely if my grandparents uh, would understand uh, after that definitely i can easily get 2 crores or 1 crore rupees from my grandparents yes. definitely why not take advantage of the family legacy or the family uh, treasure that they possess <laughs> yeah yes. okay um if you could ask one question to your neighbor what would that question be actually ma'am i came from humble family right now these days i am going to towards middle class family okay so i have seen poverty so definitely i will ask them uh, do you want to learn something from me if they uh, say okay suman das uh, how can you help us after okay. that i will tell them these days uh, i am doing job in an it company as well as i opened my youtube channel so if you uh, watch my youtube channel videos so this way you can get more information you can uh, become a fluent speaker okay and as well as i will also give you a tuition so if you want to take tuition from me so i can give you a tuition uh, for sunday and saturday okay. and sunday and yeah weekend. okay yes okay yes, so great thought to you know um help the neighbors especially if they are struggling with something or help them to find success in something okay yes so actually yeah. actually ma'am if i help them so in future they will grow and after that they will earn money by their profession so Absolutely. english it's a language so if they learn something from my youtube channel or if they learn something from um, me so that way they can earn because uh, i will teach them how to do coding as well as i will tell them how to speak Uh, fluently in front of crowd in front of your relatives in front of your colleagues so these things i will tell them and after that definitely they will get more benefits from me and okay. they will remember from now to until death they will from remember now. me yeah so you will have a huge impact in their lives right um yes. uh, some feedback which i would like to give you based on how you are presenting your sentences so we are definitely seeing like you know there is a lapse in fluency in the sense that uh, you're connecting ideas but are you doing translation you know in your mind is that the reason your fluency is getting affected or are you trying to search words while speaking what is happening yeah i am trying to search while speaking new new sentences so that's why okay so vocabulary um yes. and what about the ideas like the ideas they strike to you instantly or do you have to take a pause to present the idea uh, yeah sometime i take pause and after that i think what should i say next 
Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you keep saying in between also, what should I say? You say you said that I think uh, three to four times yes. uh, while yes. since you've entered the class. Okay, so when we talk about fluency, um, uh, definitely having an expansive vocabulary helps in building fluency, right? Hmm. Um, secondly, the ideation has to be a little um, quick. So whenever a question is thrown at you, you should be able to uh, think as well as speak. So there are ways to tackle this situation that how to think spontaneously whilst you are in the middle of speaking. Okay, I'll discuss those ways. And the last yeah. part about, um, you know, uh, as you said that you're wanting to find new words. So is it related to uh, the idea that you want to use good vocabulary or are you not finding the word at all? What is happening? I can easily find good vocabulary, but I am not articulate my thing in front of you uh, because of lack of knowledge. Okay. Okay. If I have lots of knowledge, so I can easily uh, speak fluently in front of you. So I can say lack of knowledge. Okay. I would not say lack of knowledge particularly, but yes, uh, you know, so when we talk about certain things, what really distinguishes a native speaker and someone who is a beginner? So it's your ability to process the ideas, even though you have knowledge about it or not. But if you are able to process the ideas and speak about those ideas confidently without having to think, let, 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 let's say you're confused about something and you're making a guess about something, right? Yes, yes. So if I ask you that, why is global warming happening? Everyone knows the obvious reason is uh, because of the climate change, like uh, because of the people's activity, because of the pollution, that's why global warming is happening. Let's say you're unsure of these reasons and let's say you want to add more, but you're unsure of certain other reasons. So instead of saying, uh, you know, it in a definite manner, you can use words like probably or might. So it's just about speaking your mind, right? Whether mm. you have knowledge about it or whether you don't have knowledge about it. When you don't, when you are uncertain about something, so you use words like probably, might be, possibly, I'm not sure, you make sentences like this. But the fluency should not be broken, even if you are not aware about something. This is my first okay. feedback. Okay. Okay, I got then, it. Then, uh, how can we gain more knowledge? So, um, I'm sure, you know, uh, every day trying to take some steps to, uh, you know, be more aware about the current yeah. affairs. So, that really helps, right? Yeah. Because when we talk about small talk, like let's say somebody asks you a question related to the Israel attacks. Right. So you should be having something to speak on this topic because this is like a current topic which is happening. Right. It's um, current affairs, I can say. Yeah, correct. So not in-depth knowledge is required, but something related to like you can um, watch some videos or you can uh, download some app in, from which you can just stay up to date with the new daily news. Right. So that will help yes. you to strike that initial conversation, especially when you meet someone for the first time, because these are the usual topics of uh, small talk. You know, when we meet yes. someone for the first time. Okay. Yes, to tackle the issue of vocabulary, what needs to be done is uh, whenever you're like practicing for vocabulary. So I'll give you some words in the chat box. Okay. Let's say uh, like we, when we're trying to incorporate vocabulary, we constantly need to take measures to replace the basic words with some higher expressions. So if I talk about the word important, can you give me some synonyms of important? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, I'm sure that you know these words. Essential. Yes, yes. I know that. Right? Vital. And yeah, I, I know, know this word. two synonym, but uh, suddenly I could not tell you that name. Okay. Absolutely. Now, what is the reason behind it? That we don't make efforts in making sentences. So whenever we read a new word, you might have read essential a lot of times in some uh, article or in some reading passage. You might have read essential a lot of times. So you are aware yeah. about the meaning of it. But the problem is that we have not uh, taken effort to use it in our sentences uh, effortlessly. Right. Yes. So how to do that? I'll ask you some questions like uh, these are the words which I have given you as a replacement for important. There are many words which I can continue with, but right now let's just focus with these four. Okay. okay. So can you give essential, like let's say um, 
you're talking about your life goals and you're talking about running a YouTube channel. How can you use essential in one sentence? These days I am suffering from fever. So I need to uh, purchase this medicine. Otherwise, uh, what should I say? Actually, it is important for me to purchase medicine. It is it is essential for me to purchase so make a sentence with important replace important with essential i think that will help okay so okay. these days i am not uploading any video on my youtube channel if i do not upload any video on my youtube channel so um, my youtube channel reach uh, will be down so as soon as possible i have to upload uh, more video it's a very important otherwise it's very uh, my essential. youtube channel yes otherwise uh, my youtube channel reach will be uh, more down so it is very so, important it's very it essential. is very essential good things yes ma'am it's very essential right now for me to upload more videos okay let's yes. say you are having a conversation in your office place so how can you use the word vital Let's say you're talking about some project or you're talking about you're discussing about something important. How would you okay. like make a sentence with important but use the word vital? So ma'am, last week my manager gave me a new task. So uh, he told me, Suman Das, this is a very vital project. As soon as possible, you have to complete this project within one week. OK. Um, Replace this word fundamental. So it is important that you complete this within one week. It is. You try to use any of the other two words. Okay. So, uh, Suman Das, this is a very important work. This is a very this. fundamental work. Okay. So, Suman Das, this is a very fundamental work for this organization. As soon as possible, I need. Uh, good work from you good now you just learned four words but what we are trying to understand is that how can i incorporate it in a daily conversation right yes so let's yes. say you you're giving a reply back to your boss for the same question and your boss has said that suman das it's very uh, fundamental that you complete this project within a week how would you reply to your boss using the word significant okay so sir uh, Last uh, week, I started this work. So I have been working on this project uh, good way. So I uh, significant role play on this project. I will play a significant role in this project or I understand the importance of this. I understand the significance of this project. Yes. yes like that. Right. So uh, don't be afraid to change the uh, you know, forms of it like significant. This is a noun uh, or significant. It can be used as an adjective, but significance. This is an abstract noun. So okay. how to change that in a sentence? We need to just get comfortable with the other variants of the same root word. Right. And okay. for tackling this problem of vocabulary, we just exercise what needs to be done. So you can take some words, like try to find words which you are repetitively using, right? Yes. So if any word is there, like word like important, we can use it very easily in our sentence structures, in our daily conversation. So we just learned four alternatives for it. There are many other alternatives to it as well, like words like imperative and other words are there, right? But just stick with three to four words at a time. You cannot learn 20 words at one time, right? Yes. So yes. we have to have a step-by-step -step approach. So in, don't overwhelm yourself when it comes to vocabulary. Take just three to four words in one day. Th those are more than enough, right? But constantly try to make as many sentences as possible. Like let's say you're speaking on technology. How important and how can you use the other variants or the synonyms of important in that place? So that way, what you're... Uh, like what is the issue that you're tackling first of all you will not be repeating a particular word because repeating a particular word you're telling that you don't have vocabulary for it your vocabulary is not that expensive right if, but if you're using variety of words so you're telling me that your vocabulary is rich right so this is one way yeah please say actually ma'am 
in our daily life we make you know same sentence again and again again and again again and again yes. Yes. so yes. that's why we cannot uh, reach out good vocabulary absolutely okay mm-hmm. once we try to make different different sentences after that we can learn new new vocabulary absolutely. so and this is the main problem yeah so this is the main problem mm-hmm. but if we discuss about on various topics after that we can learn new new vocabulary from uh, different different places absolutely so absolutely. we need to discuss about on various topics after definitely. that we can improve our vocabulary yeah. right okay so the exercise which we just did i need you to do it daily with maybe 3 to 4 words try to make at least 10 sentences using one word that will help you to tackle this problem of vocabulary and the words will come out of flow into your speech without breaking your fluency so that is the main target to achieve fluency right yes sir yes so yeah i'll uh, and apart from this we also need to shift focus to a little bit of pronunciation um okay. when it comes to pronunciation we are having a certain regional influence like when you say the word vital you uh, have a habit of saying uh, instead of saying the verb sound you're making a burr sound that is because of the um, because of the mti mti effect absolutely okay so we need to get rid of that okay so there are ways to improve on this as well mother tongue influence and how to get or how to sound more native in english okay so yeah i'll take a leave now and i wish you a great day ahead looking forward to have more sessions with you so ma'am may i know from you where are you connecting from i am actually residing uh, i'm basically from himachal pradesh but i'm uh, currently settled in delhi oh that's great okay so ma'am it was a lovely talking to you hope to see you soon take care and thank you for giving me a precious time thank you take care bye bye